Hey guys, it's Stu. Uh, just got a quick impromptu video. I wasn't planning on doing this one. Um, I was going to leave it until the final reveal, but uh, I'm doing this one on request of a friend of mine I ran into yesterday. I've known many, many years. His name's Mark Hopkins, <coughs> and he's not exactly been in the best of health, but I'm glad to say he's doing very well. So, Mark, this video is basically for you, my friend. Uh, just to let you know what the state of play is with her, this has actually been the first afternoon I've had uh, to get some quality time on the workbench uh, because of obviously with the busy work schedule I've had at the moment with Christmas. Uh, so basically what I did this afternoon is give the lower part of the hole a few light dusting coats of dark earth as you can see here. Just to give the effect it had been through dusty ground um, to add it, well, just to give it a little bit of sense of more realism. Um, also, I've actually done some chipping on both the exhaust manifolds, as you can see here. Although I think the right one I may have done a little bit too much, but uh, I'll leave you lot to judge on that. But all in all, I'm pretty pleased with how she's coming on. So that's the main hull as she's looking at this moment in time. Okay. Next on is I've also painted and weathered the tracks as well, so they're all ready to go on. And as you can see, the level of detail on them for AFE is fantastic. So I will certainly be getting more aftermarket tracks from them. The running gear, again, I've given it a light dusting of light earth, uh, just to give it the effect it's been through dusty ground, and I hope you look, like the look of the results. And then, uh, finally, we've got the commander, who, as you can see, he, all the base coats are now fully done. It's just basically a case of putting on a clear coat, uh, adding a wash, and then just putting the highlights on. So basically, that is how the kit is looking at this moment in time. The only slight drawback I've had is that, unfortunately, I haven't got enough matte coats. So I've had to order some today, but unfortunately, because obviously with the busyness of the Christmas post, I may well not get it through until the end of the month. So it may well mean, guys, that unfortunately I've had to put back the, day, the final reveal until possibly the end of the month, maybe the first week in the new year. So all I can say is I can, all I can do is apologise on that. Uh, but I will be doing another video with a little Christmas message just before Christmas Day, so look out for that one. Anyway, until then, get kit crazy, happy modelling, and I'll see you in the next video.